Well, well, well. Ref ball, officiating issues, um, terrible play. You know, it is what it is. Welcome back, everybody, to um, this channel. You know, it's been a good minute. Um, I know I'm a little late, but that's okay. Um, let, let's just talk about week two in the NFL real quick. Um, not going to take very long. Um, you know, there's some quarterback shakeups that have been happening, and I think that's the biggest storyline that has come out of week two. Drew Brees got hurt against the Rams. The Rams ended up blowing out the Saints anyway. I'm sure there was a uh, officiating issue uh, early in the game. That really didn't matter because Teddy Bridgewater and the rest of the Saints offense, once Brees was gone, was just ineffective. Um, and yeah, Brees got hurt. Ben Roethlisberger got hurt. So he's done for the season. Bad elbow. Um, yeah. Sam Darnold out with mono. So Ryan Fitz tragic. Not Fitz magic. Fitz tragic. Had to come in. And the Jets looked bad against the Browns. Wasn't even close. Um, Eagles and Falcons was a game of turnovers. You know, just everybody was throwing picks. And it was and it was a game that once again went down to the wire. Once again, you know. Um Oh, yeah, here's another, um, you know, some bad refing, if you want to call it that. The the time ran out in the Bears game against the Broncos. The Broncos should have won that game. But instead, you know, instead the Bears get another chance. Pinheiro makes a 50-something yarder, and the Bears get their first win of the season. It is what it is, you know. Technically, the Bears ran out of time. The officials were like, yeah, let's give them a second. Um, Chiefs beat up the Raiders. Wasn't even close. Like, once Patrick Mahomes threw four touchdowns the first half, you knew it was all over. Dolphins looking pretty bad right now. Um, Patriots just beat the mess out of them. It wasn't even close. Bills take care of business there. Um, it's the Giants. Seahawks barely beat the Steelers, you know. Um, the Packers have to survive the Vikings, you know. Um, we, the boys, um, the boys easily takes care of Washington, you know. Sure, they had a couple of garbage touchdowns late. Gardner Minshew, they Gardner Minshew and the Jags, they had, they had the game. Like they could have just tied the game. We could have just went to overtime instead. The Jags went for the win, didn't go well. Forty um, Niners. Easily beat the Bengals, you know. Um, wasn't close. Colts beat the Titans, you know. Wasn't really didn't really care about that game. Um, the Ravens taking on the Cardinals. Oh, the Ravens! What a what a good game that was. Uh, Kyler Murray, Lamar Jackson, you know, and the Cards had to basically come back again from like a big deficit to try and get back into this game. And the most surprising thing, obviously Thursday night football was the most surprising game that week, but rather this week, and that was the Bucks beating the Panthers. Now, la now the last couple plays that game, um, I don't know what in the world North Turner was thinking. I don't know what in the world Panthers offense is thinking, trying to give it to Christian McCaffrey for a fourth down. And, and like a few inches, I don't know what they were thinking. And somehow it didn't. And of course it didn't work. It, it was like a a direct snap to McCaffrey, and of course it didn't work at all. You know. And so now, Javis Winston gets a W. What in the world is this? What kind of world are we living in? You know. It is what it is, y'all. It is what it is. But that's just the nature of it all. You know. We learned some things. Ooh. Not a lot of things, but we've learned that these quarterbacks are we're gonna need some more quarterbacks, you know. Now Mason Rudolph's gotta step up, Teddy Bridgewater's gotta step up. Daniel Jones, the new starter for 
those New York football giants. Have a blast, Giants fans. Um, is it going to be miserable? I don't know yet. But now the Giants have benched Eli. It's crazy. It's a crazy experience that we're living in right now. So now these young quarterbacks got to step up. Um, and it's going to be it's going to be interesting to see what happens in these next couple of weeks. This breeze is out for a couple of weeks. Who knows how long Darnold's out with mono? Roethlisberger is out for the season, and and Eli got benched. And now Jalen Ramsey's. You know, where is he going to go? What about AB? Antonio Brown. You know, now he's got a second allegation of rape. He's got. A loss. Uh, he's got a lawsuit against a doctor now for farting on a doctor. I mean, does that really warrant a lawsuit? Unless, unless that story is fake, but I doubt at this point. You know, it, it's the whole situation with Antonio Brown has gotten ridiculous. Um, yeah, week two has closed up. It's nice, wrapped up, and in a little bow. So. And, you know, we just got to move on to next week. So, see you guys in a few. Um, week three. Re, week three preview coming up right in a few. Peace, everybody.